Hey, what's going on guys and girls? I'm Colleague Phoenix here and welcome to episode number 16 of my Ark Survival Evolved Ragnarok Let's Play series. And I've already had a scare. <laughs> Fucking hell. Just accidentally pushed E. Alright, so we're over uh, to the south of the map. Um, I wanted to check out the new area that got released. Now, obviously for me... It's not like it was a significant difference because by the time I got to playing this map, the update was nearly out for it and I had never come down this way. But a big update that added about 25% more map to Ragnarok um, came out last week, I believe. So I wanted to have a look at it. What is this? This is really nice here. Scorpions around though. What the fuck are you? Oh, you just a uh, okay. Looked really neat. Hey, there's a beehive there. Wait a minute. Okay, doesn't matter. Whatever. Let's continue. I want to have a look at this part of the map because Scorched Earth is like. A map that really interests me for some weird reason. I love the concept of it. But the map is very frustrating. And I also really love the dinos that came with the Scorched Earth uh, update. Or DLC map, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Expansion. Um, so I wanted to look over here because apparently there's Scorched Earth dinos over here. And I was thinking maybe, depending on what's over here, we could tame one. I also want to get to taming a griffin. Because they look fucking cool. And maybe slightly OP at the same time. What's up, Raptor, bro? <laughs> he didn't even worry about us. He did not care. Okay. This area looks pretty cool. There is a lot of water. I will say that. It's definitely a lot, a lot of water. I do like the deserty feel. Oh, look at the swamp. Wait, are we are we in the area yet? No, we might not even. This isn't even it yet. This is was part of the map originally, I think. Okay. So the actual new expanded part is down that way. Dope. All right. Let's see, I'm thinking I'm really considering moving the base over here. Oh, also, by the way, if you didn't notice, my pickaxe and hatchet that I had, the uh, Mastercraft and... Uh, what's the other call that starts with R? I can't think of it. Ramshackle. Uh, hatchet and pick, yeah, that's gone because I died. And I died because I logged into the game, didn't realize I didn't pause the game, and fucking died from hunger or thirst or something. And because it had been so long since I had been at the computer, my stuff despawned. So I did have to make a uh, new pickaxe and hatchet and stuff. But we do have the Mastercraft crossbow on us. Unfortunately, we lost all our darts. Right, so is this this is part of the new expanded area, right? It's an interesting concept. Not a lot of land, though. This would be cool if you wanted to live on a raft, though. This might be a really cool area if you wanted to raft it up. Is that a beaver? No, what the fuck is that? Oh, it's one of those stupid alligators. Whatever the hell they're called. Capra... blah blah blah. I'm also seeing s these snails everywhere. If there's a part... Of the landmass that joins that landmass to that landmass, I'd consider living over this direction. But it doesn't look like there is a piece that joins. So what's over this area then? There's a shit ton of ocean though. If you wanted to do under, like, you know, see just ocean creature stuff, you have a lot of ocean to play with. Oh, is this like the... Wow, that's... This is pretty cool. I like this. So what... Wait a minute. 
We gotta find out. What is this? Is it something I can go in, or is it just for aesthetics, or what? It seems relatively safe over here, honestly. I kind of just want to check it out. Hmm. Hey, there is a door on this side. What the hell is this? Where's the point of that? I don't understand. Is it just just there for looks? Or does it actually serve a really good purpose? Ooh, there's a lot more there's a bit more land over here. Wait, is all this part no. Is that part of the expanded map as well, or is it just this bottom left corner? I think it's the bottom left half. Actually, that's part of the 25% larger. Oh, this goes down inside. Question is, what could be down here? Right. Metal. Definitely see a lot of metal. Goes down to the water. I'm waiting for creatures to spawn, but nothing is spawning. This does go all the way down to the water. What the hell? Is there a point to this? Is this like a... Huh. I mean, I guess technically you could set up your base somewhere like upstairs or like up above this and then use this to have your water dinos out here or something. Yeah, okay. But they're the scorched earth trees, I'm pretty sure. I'm almost positive that's what they are. Fucking hell, this is, this is a lot of stairs, dude. But I am surprised they didn't seem to spawn anything that would attack me. I mean, I guess it all it is was a cave, really. I'm so worried if I fall down a tiny gap, I'm just going to plummet all the way down to the ground and fucking have to find a way to get all the way back over here. Okay, so I haven't seen any scorched earth dinos. Like I said, I could be incorrect in the areas I'm searching. I know it was the bottom left area. Um... But I don't know the exact specifics, like how far down the map exactly it started and all that kind of shit. But... I'm not seeing anything Scorched Earth Dino-wise, but I am pretty sure they're the Scorched Earth Trees. Maybe it's over that side. That part of the water, because I'm pretty sure it's the bottom left half and the bottom right half of the map is still work in progress. We could try looking over there. It looks kind of deserty over there. Very possible. Man, and also this bird is just fucking amazing. It can fly forever. But I think maybe next episode we're going to look into trying to tame a griffin. I think that could be pretty cool to try out. Because they just look super cool. Like, they're, they're OP in an attack, like a combat sense. But they're also... Um... Holy shit, it's just all metal. Yeah, so the, the griffins are, are strong in a combat sense, but a lot of dinos they cannot carry, like the RG can. So it rules out a lot of... Um... I guess, value from... The, take some value from the griffin. If you could carry the same things that the Argy can, it would be a no-brainer to have a griffin. But if you're looking to tame stuff and drop stuff in taming boxes and that, the griffin is not the, the best thing for you. Okay, there's Scorched Earth stuff over here. The Lymantria. There's raptors. That raptor looked really nice. I like the color on that raptor. Huh. So I've seen one Scorched Earth dinosaur so far. 
Oh, yeah, this whole bottom area is scorched earth. I like it. Those Morella tops. Nice. I actually, I would live down here. I, I think I might do it. I think I might move the base down here. I just love this area. Oh, and there's fucking thorny dragons. Dude. Level 90. Oh, yeah. I like him. I, li I, I just love the aesthetic of it and the dinos so much. What is that? Is that a megalodon? Beached up above. Yeah, it is. It's stuck on a rock or something. The Lymantria. There's the, the water jug bugs and stuff. I think there's a... Is there a wyvern area down here? Or is that only in, like, the top? Where would it be? It's like... I think the wyvern area is, like... Uh... 55 longitude by, like, 20 latitude or something. I think that's the area of it. What the fuck are those things? Megatherium. They look like they're really strong. Oh, these bloody terror birds down here. That, that's fun. The only thing is, is it would take a while to move some of the dinos down. Like, I don't even think I'd bother moving the uh, Pachyrhinosaurus down here because it's just so far to drag it. I'd just tame a Morella Tops or something down here for berries and that bullshit. What in the fuck is that? What the fuck? I've never seen that. That fucking thing came out while I wasn't playing Ark. That thing is huge. It's only a level one, but it's massive. Now, I don't think they attack creatures. I think they attack your raft, if you have a raft out there. What the fuck are you as well, actually? You. Oh, you're a horse. Why oh, you look so fucking ugly, dude? Shit, this thing is fucking huge. Could we kill it? Is that a thing we could do? Oh, shit. Oh, I don't want to touch the water. I'll jump out. I kind of just want to get a really good photo of it. All right. I think that's good. Sorry, I'll get a bit quiet there. It's just I have to think about it. I'm trying to get the right shot, but I think we're going to go this thing. Because, I mean, it could give us a shit ton of XP. And I don't think we've got much to lose from killing it. And he's pr pretty much beached at the moment. He can't go anywhere. He or she, I don't know what it is. It. Oh, God. Tighten him in. Uh. Am I hitting it? No. Duh. Oh, that Procoplodon's been getting fucked up. Come on. I don't think this thing can even attack me. It doesn't seem to have an attack. Maybe it does if I'm in the water. It can actually hit me? Holy shit. The sound of it, dude. Alright. What do I get if I harvest its body? Holy raw prime fish. Fucking hell. Did I get anything else significant out of it? No, not really. Metal pick. Yeah, okay, I kind of like this area. Because you can go straight out into the ocean. There's quite a few tameable sea creatures around. And we could, like, perch ourselves up here somewhere. Holy shit, that thing loaded in late. Yeah, we could perch ourselves up here somewhere. It'd be pretty cool. So is this, like, considered a mountain? Because the Argies are flying around this area and Tapajara as well. Oh, there's a nice little bridge there. Yeah, this is cool. All right, well, anyway, guys and girls, that is going to be the end of this episode. Uh, sorry there wasn't any really anything significant in this episode. I, th I just thought I'd show this area off. I haven't seen it before, and I thought it'd be cool to explore it together. But if you like this video, remember to leave a like. If you want to see more ARC in the future, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Follow me 
on all my social media links down in the description below. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope you all have a lovely day. All right, peace.